Alright, so lesson 51 is on rounding decimal numbers. So we have this problem. Dan wanted to buy a book for $6.89. The sales tax rate was 8%. Dan calculated the sales tax. He knew that 8% equaled the fraction 8 one hundredths and the decimal 0 0.08. To figure out the amount of tax, he multiplied the price by the sales tax rate. How much tax would Dan pay if he purchased the book? So he got the answer. Uh, 0 0.5512. Now when we deal with money, we our smallest money amount is the penny. And a penny is one hundredth of a dollar. So the smallest we can get with money is in the hundredths place, because that's our penny. So that means we need to round our cents, the cents, to the nearest penny. Okay, so to do that, of course, we'd look at this next number. It's a one. So in this case, I'm not going to change my number. I'm not going to change my five. I'm going to leave that the same. So my answer would be he has to pay 55 cents. Okay, I would just erase those last two numbers. Okay, in this problem, we have Sheila pulled into the gas station and filled the car's tank with 10.381 gallons of gasoline. Round the amount of gasoline she purchased to the nearest tenth of a gallon. So, we're going to write it out, 10.381. And it says we want to rate, round it to the nearest tenth. Well, the tenth place is here. So, to figure out how I'm going to round the three, I'm going to look at the next number, eight. So, eight is greater than five. So, that means I'm going to round the three up to a four. The ten is going to stay the same. And I'm just going around to 3 to a 4. Now, I could change those last two numbers to zeros, but as we know, if we add zeros to the end of a decimal number, it doesn't change anything, so I'm not going to put those in so I can simplify my problem. So 10.4 is my answer. Okay, here we have estimate the product of 6.85 and 4.2 by rounding the numbers to the nearest whole number before multiplying. So I want to round these two numbers, so I have 6.85 and 4.2. I round this to the nearest whole number, so here's my whole numbers. So let's first round 6.85. I'm going to look at the next number, the 8, and that tells me that I need to round my 6 up to a 7. And everything after, after the decimal point gets erased. On my next number, 4.2, I'm going to look at the 2. 2 is less than 5, so my 4 is going to stay the same. Now I'm going to multiply these two numbers together. 7 times 4 is 28. So that is my answer. 6.85 times 4.2 is about 28. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.